Here we are on page five of ukulele note reading. We get a new note. You get to put your another finger on the strings. Uh, finger number one, left hand, goes on the second string. That's the one almost farthest away from your face. First fret. So here we are on page five. Number one is kind of long. Uh, let's just do it a, a line at a time and kind of assess it. So, number one, first line only. Three beats for each of these. One, ready, play. F, two, three. E, two, three. F, two, three. C, two, three. Next line, we have D, E, F, C. Ready, set, go. D, D, E, E, F, two, three, C, two, three. Now the third line uh, is a little more difficult, I would say. So hopefully, in all these cases, you're pausing the video and you're practicing your you're looking ahead at the music and maybe even going through it. So here's the third line of number one. One, two, three, ready, set, go. D, F, E, C, F, F, C, and last but not least, I guess, the fourth line. One, ready, go. D, F, E, D, E, F, two, three, F, two, three. Now what I'd like to do is have you play that all the way through. Maybe you want to practice it a little bit. And I'll play chords along with you to show you this is sort of a piece of music. So whenever you're ready to do that, turn this back on and here we go. One, two, three, beginning, ready, play. So, kind of pretty, huh? All right, here's number two. It's back in 4-4 time, common time. This might be the first time that sign has shown up in this. Uh, the, the C, let's see, which way are you looking? That way? Um, the C at the beginning stands for common time, which is 4-4 time. I might mention at this point that there are other kinds of times. Um, times with an 8 in the bottom, or times with a 2 in the bottom. Um, maybe we'll get to them, maybe we won't, but they all, they all work in that kind of math that music has in it. Here's number 2. I think maybe I will play, let's try something different. I'll just play chords for this, and you play the melody. So you practice the melody, and then come back to this, and we'll play together a duet. All right, so here's number two. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Now, if yours didn't sound quite right with mine, then I think we're going to have to assume that you made a mistake. 
uh, I don't think I made a mistake. I'll play this back later and play along with it and see. Now we get to number three. This is actually one of my favorite ones that I put in here uh, because it's kind of pretty in its way. Um, let, let's play through it. Once again, hopefully you practiced it. And we have eighth notes. So instead of just one, two, three, four, these go one and two and three and four. Sometimes in school, oh, I, I wrote in here T, 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 Ta. But when you say the name, the numbers and the ands and stuff, it helps you keep your place better in the music. So that's why you should always think of, you know, there's four beats in this. Where are they? Or three beats or whatever the song is. So I'm going to play this once with uh, just using my thumb, my right hand thumb to pluck. And somewhere along the way here, hopefully you've looked at it and practiced it too. So it goes like this. One and two and ready, go. Did you see on that last measure, I almost, I, I think I hesitated just a little bit when I put down my first finger for F. So here's what I'd like you to try doing with this little piece. I would like you to try playing the first two measures, um, well actually the whole thing, but using your right hand, thumb, index finger, and middle finger. Now in classical guitar, they call the thumb P because it stands for a Spanish word which is pulgar. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So P, indico, medico, and uh, annular. We call it a ring finger. But I'm going to call, for ukulele purposes, I'm going to call the thumb good old T. T as in Tom, Tom Thumb. So what I'd like you to do is, I'd actually like you to write in some letters up above these notes. And so in the, in the first measure, I'd like you to write an I above the first note, an M above the second, I above the third, T above the fourth note, I above the next note, T above the low C and I above the F. That's the first measure. So what you're going to do is, hopefully I can show you this, you're going to go, let's see, which way do I look here? Going to go like this. Index middle, index thumb, index thumb, index. And write in exactly the same thing above the next measure. Because it's the same except that you're going to also finger the D there. Now we get to the third measure. And you're going to move those three fingers one string towards your face. So, in the third measure, above the E, you're going to write an M, and then a I, T, I, M, I, M. So you're going to play the E with the middle finger, the C with the index finger, and the low G with your thumb. And for the last measure, you go back and write in the same things as you did in the first measure. Um, I, M, I, T, I. So if you do that, it should end up sounding like this.
good luck with that. If I ever get to see you again in person, um, we'll check on that. You can play it for me. Thank you.